All right, guys, listen. This morning we got Roy Snar on here, and he's got his solar eclipse glasses on because the future is so bright. He needs <laughs> solar eclipse glasses. That's right. <laughs> it's amazing how dark these really are. You cannot. They see really them. are, dude. I, I know we. Uh, uh, we were we were playing jokes on people in the office with theirs, um, or some people were, and they were saying, "Put put these on. Uh, look how cool things look through them." And they'd be like, "Really?" And they'd put them on. And it's like you can't see anything. Right. right. <laughs> yeah. Literally, you could only see the sun. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, awesome, yeah. man. Well, we got some people climbing on here, getting on. Looks like we got a comment. Uh, oh, that's for me. Cool. Uh, so. I don't know why I have that default. Every time we go live, it says post your cop outs below. I think when I did that, it was uh, I was something where there would have been cop outs. No cop outs today. Roy okay. Snar is on here. And we're going to be talking about uh, what Roy is going to be talking about it at MedicareCon, <clears throat> why he's involved there. Um, there will be some revelations coming. Revelations. Reveal. Re reveal. Revealing moments. Anyway, we won't talk it's about some of them today. So yes. It's going to be revolutionary. Roy has some awesome stuff going on in the annuity world um, that we won't spoil here, but we will talk about some of the things that he's going to talk about. Many of you know Roy. He's been involved in MedicareCon before he was there last year. Um, but Roy's somebody that we actually use to refer clients to um, for higher end, you know, uh, LT long term care planning, Social Security income planning. Um, and have some a great relationship with him. We know Roy knows his stuff. He does quality work, and the people that he's partnering with in the future all do high quality work. So this is uh, it's not a fly by night. There's a lot of people that, you know, three years ago were selling D snips, and are now like I'm an annuity expert on Facebook. Roy's not that way. Roy, you know, will admittedly tell you he doesn't know. He's not a Medicare expert. He is a long term care annuity, Social Security income planning, retirement type of expert he is not a uh, a medicare guy he probably he knows enough about medicare um you know to to make sure he doesn't screw somebody up <laughs> but he is he that that's the difference is some of these guys that are coming in and they see an opportunity in a niche and they're just like hey i'm an expert in this you know roy and i are, are the same in that when i started training agents on medicare i was already selling a lot of medicare already had an agency that was was helping a lot of people with medicare and Roy's the same. He didn't start working with agents to help them until he had a path where it was like, hey, I'm, I have a very profitable path, a very profitable business doing this. How can I extend that to other people so that I can level up my profitability by helping other people help more people? Because, you know, the old uh, the, the homage, I can't remember who said it, but it was uh, um, if you want to if you want to get rich, you know, help a lot of people. If you want to get wealthy, help a lot of people help. A lot of people. I think it's something like that. I always butcher it. And that's what Roy and I are both trying to do. So, Roy, tell me a little bit about why you're excited about MedicareCon this year and what you plan to share. Yeah, this year I'm super excited because I want to go deep into how you can actually cross sell your pre existing book. Because a lot of times, like especially at MedicareCon, most of these folks are focused on Medicare, which makes sense. However, they're leaving a huge opportunity and disservicing their clients if they're not at least simply bringing up the fact of what Medicare doesn't cover. That's all it is. Hey, look, by the way, here's all the bells and whistles, silver sneakers, gym membership. They'll take your dry cleaning out with some advantage plans, right? They do everything for you. But what about having a conversation on what they don't do for you? And it's, mm -hmm. you should be telling your clients that. And one of the main aspects of it is long-term care. You have to, or you should be saying in the conversation, look, by the way, if you happen to need custodial long-term care, you get zero days of coverage. You may be eligible for 20 days of full coverage for skilled care, but then that's it. You know, what do you have, what do you have in place currently for long-term care? So we're going to talk about uh, how to actually have that conversation and the opportunity at hand. We use this very same angle. And like you mentioned before, it took me a long time to figure this out. I'm a late bloomer. I didn't hit my first six figures in this practice for over five years. So it took me a long time to finally figure it out. And now 14 years into this thing, uh, we're writing this year, personal production for myself is gonna be over 40 million in FIA business, over a million in life premium. And the long-term care is gonna be somewhere around two or 3 million in LTC premium. And I'm having writing all this business from just simply having conversations with people, not trying to sell them, just saying, hey, look, you have these great plans. That's great. Uh, what don't they cover? Has anybody ever reviewed that with you? No, no one's ever reviewed that with me. OK, let me show you what they don't cover. And then that's how we open up the conversation and show them what it does not cover. 
and then have them talk about their personal stories and what they've been through and what we've been through with our own personal families and other clients. And then we show them the solution. And that's how we're driving a massive amount of traffic and how we've helped lots of agents all over the country start capitalizing on that as well. Yes. So, Roy, you said some awesome stuff. And then a speaker came on behind me. I had to get Mallory to turn it off. But, um, <laughs> And that's awesome because we want to give practical information. You know, you know this. I've told you, and you can you can testify to this that uh, with Medicare Con, we always want there to be practical information from state. Of course, Roy has uh, an offering to help agents, and that's at snaracademy.com. Right? You can go to s n a r r academy.com and learn more and more from Roy. Um, but what we've always maintained is that we're going to. Uh, we're going to get the the trust of agents by helping them before they ever, you know, at, before they ever actually go in and, and buy. And so that's what Medicare Con is all about. And what Roy's saying is he's going to give you practical takeaways of how even if you never enrolled in Snar Academy, if you never, if he never made a dollar off of you, you would be able to take that information and go and utilize it effectively. Of course, there's going to be more and deeper information if you get more involved intimately into SNAR Academy and utilize uh, other services and, and then maybe get to the point where you're uh, working with Roy in a, either a referral or a contracting capacity. Uh, it's like Roy, you know, he's one of the few that has maintained that even if you don't want to sell this stuff, you know, just bringing it up and having a pathway to refer can be very profitable for you, plus help your clients. Um, a little story. And I'll, uh, I'll pull this question off here now. A little story. Yesterday or day before, Sarah, who works um, in our administration team, our client services team, came to me and she was like, um, how can we get the agents to bring up long-term care more? And I was like, it's kind of a funny question for me. You know, coming from Sarah, I was like, I was like well, uh, I said, you know, a lot of times we don't bring it up because of the budgets, you know, relative. And a lot of this is probably in our head, you know, that we're bringing it up because we think, well, you know, people don't have the budget for it. It's expensive, blah, blah, blah. So there's all these limiting beliefs around long-term care that agents have. So I said the, these objective things. And then she started to tell me, she's like, well, it's so sad when I'm talking to customers and they're having to lose their house, you yeah. know. And, and she said that she had a, a customer that she was one of our customers she was dealing with um, or helping. I'm not dealing with <laughs> helping that had, um, you know, had to go into custodial care and was actually in the process of losing their family home they've had for a hundred years, you know, wow. um, just based on having to get, because they had to get to qualify for Medicaid, right? Um, not to mention the fact that when you go into a Medicaid uh, paid for or approved facility, it's not the same quality of care you would get at, at a private stay, you know, nursing home that you could you utilize with, um, you know, some of these benefits. And the thing is with long term care, and I only know this from talking to Roy because we don't we you know, we try to refer it to Roy. Um, it, I only know this, but because of Roy, but there's multiple solutions. You know, we have there's there's multiple tiered solutions. Not everything is a, you know, four or five hundred dollar a month traditional long term care policy. There's right. asset asset based solutions. Um, there are short term care policies that can at least bridge a gap for like a year. There's all kinds of solutions that can help out. And, you know, we can you know, normally Roy, somebody like Roy or somebody that he's trained can backwards engineer into that. So, yes, it is live. I'm assuming that's Matt Murray. I can't see it. He says, Dad, this is not live. He always does this. Roy is certified the man. Check him out on TikTok. <laughs> yes. Awesome. Um, Awesome. So, Roy, well, we're super excited to have you. Of course, we know you have an appointment right now, probably helping somebody secure some long term care yeah. um, and, and other things uh, here at 9 a.m. Um, so other than snaracademy.com, is there anywhere? I mean, somebody said follow you on TikTok. Should people go check you out on TikTok? You know, funny story about that. My sister, uh, she's all about the social media stuff and she's younger than I am. She goes, you should be on social media. And I've resisted it for a long time. I was like, all right, fine. I'll just record some videos, make them basic. And she does all that for me. I don't even know what the logins are. So she does all that for me. And, uh, you know, we started gaining a lot of traction. And what's funny about that, we actually had a client call yesterday. She saw me on TikTok and she's in New Jersey. And she goes, I want to buy long-term care. And I'm like, First of all, nobody wants to buy this. Second of all, you found me on what? TikTok? And she's yeah. like 70 years old. I'm like, what are you doing on TikTok? But it, it's yep. funny how it all works. But yeah, I mean, luckily I have a very unique last name, Snar. So if you just punch my name into Google, you'll see the social media handles, the YouTube, uh, also all the different various websites. 
uh, specifically for agents. You can tell Roy doesn't do social media because he he says social media names like my like my grandmother used to say Kroger's and the Walmarts. He's like he's like the YouTube's, the Facebooks. <laughs> I know, I'm yeah. like an old soul, man. There's You're an old soul. Because <laughs> Roy's not that old. I think Roy's around the same age I am. So, oh, um, yeah, yeah. we used to be the youngest in the industry. Now we're we're somewhere in the the middle side. So, uh, but we're still young. Uh, yes. Got a lot of a lot of years left in front of us. So, um, but definitely check Roy out. You can go on there, Google Roy Snar. You'll find all that stuff. You can follow him on TikTok, and of course, you can head over to snaracademy.com. And Roy will be a sponsor and have um, expo space in um, in uh, our expo hall. Expo hall opens in MedicareCon the afternoon. This is um, 1 p.m. on Monday, so from 1 to 5. The setup will be a little bit before that, Roy. But uh, as far as for the people to come, registration and expo opens one around one to five p.m. on Monday, um, the twenty. What is that? Twenty second. Anyway, so the the best time to network and mingle with people is going to be then because that's when there's no presentations going on, distracting anyone. This is the best time, and I promise you, anybody that's watching, get there. That's a time where you can probably grab some one-on-one -on -one time with Roy. You can steal his time. You'll, you'll be able to, some of you will be able to steal my time. I'll be in there. I won't be presenting at that time. So we'll be able to talk. Um, if you wait until the Tuesday or Wednesday, you know, we're all kind of talking and on. So we're going to try to be around, but sometimes it's more difficult. So check out Roy's booth in the Expo Hall at MedicareCon on Monday afternoon, um, as well as past that. But We'll see you guys soon. We're down to, I think, 11 days away from that Monday. So yeah. it's going to be awesome. I can't wait. Um, you know, I know some of you are already in Vegas uh, at another event. So uh, I can promise you this. And there will be an announcement about where Medicare Com will be in 2025. It'll be not in Vegas. So very, very different. Um, come to Austin. I think everybody will be excited. <laughs> everybody always wants me to come where they live. <laughs> <laughs> but um, we will come. We're going to come somewhere that uh, I think it'll be easy to convince, you know, especially for the husbands out there that are having to tell their wife they're going to a work event. This will be one where she'll want to go. And yeah. if you have kids, it'll be where they want to take kids. That's well, this awesome. year I'm bringing my wife and all three kids, the six year old, the three year old and the one year old. That's another reason why my sister's coming out to help babysit. So we're bringing everybody out this trip. So you know, here. Vegas is really not a bad place for families, especially the MGM. The pools and stuff are yeah. amazing. You know, the, uh, awesome. it has a great lazy river kind of water park feel. And then, uh, of course, the shows and things that are going on in the sphere and everything and the food. It's amazing. So I'm not knocking Vegas. It's been a great home for us yeah. for Medicare Con for this last year and this year. But going forward, I think everybody's going to be really stoked about uh, 2025. So can't wait to announce it. Somebody also asked before I get off here, yeah. um, when the, is the convention going virtual? We are recording it. Um, we've live streamed uh, Medicare Con for two years in a row. And it, it's always a lot of issues with the live stream. Um, and, and it honestly, it, it's last year at the MGM is pretty expensive to live stream it based on the amount that we sold and the, the issues that came from it. We just decided we're not doing that this year. So sorry about your luck. Try to get there in person. I'm not sure if we'll live stream it in 2025. We may do that, but there will be a recording uh, option where people can buy the recording later on. So, Hey, Roy, thank you so much for being with us this thank morning. Uh, good luck in the appointments you got coming up. And good luck to all of you guys out there that are selling insurance. Sell a whole bunch so that you uh, can enjoy your time at Medicare Con, not feeling like you are way behind. So talk to you guys soon. Thank you. All right. Awesome. Are you kidding me, man? This is the greatest conference all time. It's like nothing I've seen before. Um, coming back next year. The business is rapidly changing. If you're not educating yourself, you're going to be left behind. Great thing about Medicare Con and really any of these types of events, this one's so big, is you have all these people from chasing different pursuits in their business, coming together and joining and sharing information. That's the best part of this. The conversations I've had with these guys right here, things that I wouldn't get just talking on the phone or anything like that. And the, and the content here, it's been awesome. And uh, Justin's done a great job, man.